farm workers do a most important job in terms of providing food and they are not recognized because many of them go hungry even after working with food. Quite often farm workers are not seen but I think we need the world to recognize the contribution of farm workers. It's farm workers that ensure the food arrives on the plate, but policy makers, a lot of people just ignore their existence. You will find that workers have been overworked, no overtime was paid. They would be staying in very bad houses. Some of these houses got no toilets. Workers, you will find that they are earning less than 100 rand a day. Nowadays, what we buy on the supermarket shelves, the labor conditions behind it are invisible. We have very long chains, they come from afar. We have very nice labels and logos, but we have no idea actually what's behind it. Most of us you know, pop into a local shop or a supermarket, take a bottle of wine or a packet of tea off the shelves. Some of us are conscious enough to look at whether you know, there's a fair trade or an environmental organisation attached to that. But in reality, what we've learned today is that there's very little inspection, even in regard to things like fair trade. Ons Dani was Herman Leclerc and in the mensen spijt waar ons werk in ons het die gezichtmaskers. Dat is natuurlijk voor mijn gezondheid. Firstly, I work with agricultural workers as well as plantation work. What is common between them is the level of poverty and uh, uh, hunger. These are some of the poorest people in India. The wage is something like 250 rupees a day, three to four dollars a day. And that is during the peak season. This is not work that they get throughout the year. Lack of money to just live on is a very, very big problem. La situación de los trabajadores en el mundo aún es precaria. Tenemos desafíos y demandas similares y podemos aprovecharlas para organizar los procesos en este espacio y reproducirlos en nuestros países. When we are separated, we cannot change our situation. Together, we are able to change our situation. How do we as poor people who have nothing compel the world's largest corporations to sit down and negotiate with us as equals. His response was, my son, if you impede the rich man's ability to make money, anything is negotiable. <laughs>